tree identification in Kentucky can be overwhelming. Uh, just take a look behind me at all the tree species that are there. And what we're going to do is, is try to take it step by step as to how we actually identify a specific species. And uh, one of the things that I'd like to mention is the way you identify um, a family member or friends is through characteristics. We're going to be doing the same concept with trees as through characteristics. Uh, with your family members or friends, uh, the color of hair, length of hair, their height, um, a lot of different characteristics that we use to identify uh, these people. And what we're going to do is simply transpose those concepts of looking for identificational uh, characteristics and by a process of elimination we are going to identify these 150 trees that are, exist here in the state of Kentucky. And uh, to do that we'll simply take a look at the, the two that we have down here in front of myself. Uh, the first thing we need to do is separate out uh, hardwoods from softwoods uh, or else conifers. Uh, there's only a few conifers here in the state of Kentucky and I've uh, taken this one to represent uh, the identification of most conifers. Uh, what we do is, let me grab a pointer here, uh, what we do is for most conifers you can simply take and take a look at the needles and you will find out that they are actually growing in bundles. I'm going to focus on this particular one right here because it actually has two needles in a bundle. The scientific term for that is fascicle if you would like to uh, write that one down in your notebook. Fascicles and a fascicle is a bundle of needles. This particular species has two needles in a bundle, two needles in a fascicle. And uh, in anywhere that you would look on the limb of this conifer, you would find that every one of those bundles has two in it. Not only are there two needles in a bundle, but they are relatively short, about three inches in length, and they are twisted. And this is an identifiable characteristic of a uh, Virginia pine. Some people refer to those as black pines also. Um, but uh, we're not going to be covering all the conifers here in the state of Kentucky, but just as a quick reminder, simply uh, look on there, find out how many needles in the bundle, and uh, the key that we're going to be pulling out here uh, relatively shortly will uh, talk to you how to do that. I'll just mention real quickly that a white pine, a white pine is very common throughout the entire state, has five needles in a bundle. So I'm going to make uh, the assumption that we've learned everything there is about conifers for the state of Kentucky. There's only about ten and uh, they're relatively easy to separate apart. Now we want to change our mode from conifers to the hardwoods. And remember the hardwoods are those species of trees here in the state of Kentucky that lose their leaves in the winter time. They change color September, October and then lose their leaves. And uh, these are ones that we refer to basically as hardwoods. And the very first thing you do when you go to identify a hardwood is identify the bud. And the bud is right here at the end of my pencil. And the bud is actually next year's leaves, next year's flowers, next year's fruit, next year elongation of this particular stem. The bud is also the key factor in helping to identify trees. And you will notice at the base of every leaf there is a bud. So this is the terminal bud and there is a leaf stalk on either side of it. And if we can look down here at my pencil you can see a small brown dot that is also a bud. And this is the leaf stalk to that. So by being able to identify where the bud is you can identify the beginning of a leaf. So when we find this bud we have now found the beginning of a leaf.